of the award-winning team building exercise. And this time, the guys are covering Escalation. In this one, the three mooks are going to be talking about the Maison Labs. And they better not be experimenting on some goblins. I'll be really upset. Jack? Jack? And welcome to the multi-award winning team building exercise. The finale. The final countdown. Uh, Maison Labs. We, we saved the best for last. I'm Rob. And I'm Jack. I'm the enthusiastic coach. Hey, yep, we're talking about Maison Labs. We love Maison Labs. I don't know what's your problem. It's a good faction right here. Yeah. I love them, them to pieces. Jack, you call them the the poor man's GCPDS? Um, I would love to, to get in on this, uh, this abuse of the Maison Labs. Don't get me wrong, but... Uh, I am still concerned about Georgie, so like I'll be a little muted, I'll be a little down. Uh, I, you know, I'm just uh, I'm I'm on edge. So, just everyone know that that's why. Well, Georgie is no longer with us, so yeah, it is. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. You know, just let's just let's just let's do the show. Who's first? Some people will be excited about that. I'm sure there's uh on the on the Arc de Triomphe. They're pretty pretty happy now. <laughs> Okay, Jack, uh, please tell us your list. You got okay. that, Jack, right? That, that was like a bullet across the, across the pond, right, Jack? You, you got that reference? I, we, we, you don't need to discuss the, the, uh, the Arc de Triomphe right now. <laughs> my Not today's was, day and age. My French was pretty good. That was pretty good. Then. Yeah. The Arch of Triumph. Yep. Yes. But George is not with us, so just well, I don't want to talk about it anyway. Go ahead, Jack. Okay. So Jack, Maison Labs. I I I know I I hate to ruin it. I have a feeling there's a two with your leader. There's a number two. I'm. Hmm? I, I have I have a turban on and I'm holding an envelope to my head. The number two. You Go are ahead. you are correct because <laughs> uh, Commander Graves. 22 oh. points, two VP. Yeah, there's lots of twos. There's three twos right there. See? See? Karnak doesn't lie. <laughs> Jack, you broke the mold here. Woo! Cats are going to be living with dogs. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> to Jack, are you, are you there? <laughs> he, dropped, he dropped the mic and he's out. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> what were you doing? You stopped talking. <laughs> oh my god. Did Jack? That was perfect. That ja- was perfect. Jack? Jack just doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Uh, that reference was so dated. <laughs> oh. Do you have your camera on? No. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I think oh, you do. do. Yeah, no wonder your stream oh, is me- terrible. Me too. Oh, we just hung up. <laughs> what the fuck? You <laughs> hit the wrong button. <laughs> it's not the red button, Jack. <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, Skype's going crazy here. Skype is going crazy. Skype has gone nuts. Mm. Okay. Trust me, I did. I did laugh wholeheartedly at that joke. So, so you much did so. just blank you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, I laughed very loudly into the microphone, and then I muted. So I, that was part of my. Oh, oh man, really, Jack? Because I see, I live for that for you to laugh. That the the reference was so dated, so like. I don't know. One percent of the audience would have got it, and it made me roll. <laughs> I don't care as long as you got it. <laughs> so, okay. Jack, your list. Oh Jesus! All right, no, no, no fun today. Taskmaster. Okay. So, um, full disclosure: this is a modified version of my last um, Adepticon list that I took. So. Uh, it'll sound very familiar, maybe even to the last one 
we did for a team building exercise, the award winning team building exercise. Multi. And I took uh, Commander Graves because, um, he's not my usual, but with his head of security splat, uh, he works well with what I wanted to accomplish. Coach, okay. tell us, what does head of security do? Whoa, 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 Oh, whoa. It's, it's my favorite God. guy. I, 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 shut up, Rob. I, 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 I don't, I don't have, I don't, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rob. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were angry. Rob, Rob. I don't have enough time, guys. But Jack, you need to be careful. So, something, something's wrong with Georgie. I, I found some plans in his, in his cage, and uh, I think he's coming after you. <laughs> oh, I have invited him on many occasions. I said I'd take him out for some nice, uh, some, uh, some, some syrup. He always wanted some syrup. Did you have tomatoes? No. No, but if he's coming for a visit, that's good. I'm I'm glad to to hear it. You you don't understand. There's something wrong with him. He, he he's coming. He, he's coming for something bad. He he he. I think he's coming to fight you, Jack. <laughs> to fight remember, me? Yeah. Doesn't remember Georgie that, Georgie fight on sevens? Remember? <laughs> I, I I know that that's the. I, I'm not I'm not Jack. I'm not warning you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm warning you so that you don't kill Georgie. <laughs> Oh, oh, like accidentally, like I, he leaps out of the, you know, out of the darkness and I lash out thinking it's like a raccoon or perhaps a, an opossum. So some, something's wrong with him. He, he's been acting very weird. I remember he, he was cursing at you guys on the podcast and it, well, I'm used to that. <laughs> he's very, it's very weird. Wait a minute. But first of all, like Jack talks and, and Boomer just ignores him. I don't know if anybody picked up on that, but then. <laughs> Why? Why would Why would Georgie want to fight Jack? I, I don't know. I'm st- I'm still trying to figure it out. I, I'm, what, what happened to your Australian accent? I, what, what do you mean, mate? <laughs> <laughs> My mistake. Yeah. No. No. We were, we were way off. Hundred percent Australian. Oh, that tracks. There it is. Proceed. <laughs> well, anyway, so um. What, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, well you you've you've had you basically been here a whole time. You've established the point now, of now, now do you now do you, you wait, Jack, 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 Jack? Do you remember the last time that you guys did team team building exercise? It was either the last time or the one before that. I don't remember. I'm, I'm I have a small brain, but you remember your dog was barking. It's his sister's dog, but yes, <laughs> same, same thing. There there was a dog. Yes. And I have a feeling that was Georgie Jack. <laughs> he dressed, get out of that. He skinned your sister's dog and wearing him as a suit. <laughs> you need to get out of there. I'm, this, I'm this pretty sure seems like a Pandy like would a, still beat up uh, Georgie. I think I think we're safe. Well, at this point in time, right now, you have 30 seconds to make this funnier. So let's get to work. All right. Well, I, I don't know how to do that. So uh, uh, I'm gonna go, Jack. Be careful and. Um, I'll let you know if there's any updates. I promise you, I will be as careful as possible. Okay. Thank you for the warning. You're, you're very welcome. I love you, Rob. <laughs> love you, too. <laughs> well, there you go. Now we know where Georgie is. He's trying to get across the border in Canada. He does realize the border's closed, right? Oh, well. He could be in a suitcase. You know? Yeah. Just floating down the Niagara River. Or maybe he's in a in a, a truck full of tomatoes. Oh well then then he'll never get to to Jack. Forget it. He'll be in there forever. <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking back at the truck. Yeah. Looking forward to my house, looking back forward. I don't know what to do anymore. Mm-hmm. He'd oh, be like well. you know what he he he'll probably be thinking like a mouse right before the mouse trap goes off. And they find that piece of cheese, and they finally, before it snapped, they go, somebody really does love me in this life. Just, just, yeah, just for that brief moment, and then, yeah. So, Jack, uh, your list. Oh, my list. Okay, yes. Rob sounded Italian for a second. <laughs> hey, your list. Hey, oh. 
This, uh, if I'm if, if if Boomer's Australian, I can be Italian. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> same, same. Uh, okay, for my troops, I have six troops. They are the Urbana wait, 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 Blackwing. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't go over Mr. Graves. Oh yeah, we never did do head of security. I don't think. Yeah, what the? We got interrupted. Holy smoke, you guys! When I become the voice of reason, there's really. <laughs> Something rotten in Denmark. So, you want to go over his stats, Jack? Or uh, oh, I can tell you why I chose him. He's other than one armor, he's a pretty basic, like a pistol, a bionic arm, nothing to write home about. Recon five plus. I don't want any. You know, I don't. I don't need to win the recon roll. He is my go-to for the head of security uh, splat, and that's it. Okay. Which Co- in- Coach, please tell us what does head of security do? No oh, thanks. Yeah. Nobody follows directions anymore. Head of security, you may spend an army special result to give the active model a free fire for effect action. You may use this once for activation. So, you know, you can't stack them, but that's that's pretty good. That's a good one. So you're just that's knocking everybody simple. to the ground. Yep. Well, as as long as you win um, potential damage, yeah, you 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 can pin them. It's one model, though, unlike suppression, right? Yes. So it is quite literally uh, a, a, a freebie for someone who has, you know, it, it's if you're shooting, and I made a shooty list, mm. it's gonna prop, it's it's gonna probably pop up every a couple times a t- uh, round. So like, I'm not, it's not one of those ones that's like, oh, maybe I can, maybe I can't. It, it's always gonna be there, right? And they, and they just the only thing is they just have to have rapid fire, which the my list is going to be uh, rapidly rapid firing. So now, you, if you think about it, all right, if you think about it, you can kind of um, you can go to damage. So let's say your dude moves right. Whoever has rapid fire, it's, let's assume it's a one to two. Guy moves up on a one, and he takes a shot, right? Then you do a fire for effect, which is basically a splat, and then you can do a shoot action. So you could actually shoot three times in a row. Yeah, because it's too, you could use the shoot action and the fire for effect. Right, and then you just regular shoot action. Yep, that's true. That's a lot of shooting. Darn okay. shooting. Rootin' tootin'. Let's that is a lot of shooting. Yep. And he's also a strategist. Right. And I know we've covered it in the past, but Coach, if you want to give a like a insider's abridged version of what the strategist does. You basically get to re-roll a a dice in your recon. So, you know, even though you have a recon five, another, another, uh, another roll wouldn't hurt. So, yeah, if, uh, if you really want that recon and you, you can re-roll a failure and go to town. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, for 22 points and two VPs, it's just, you know, you know what happens? A lot of people forget about that, believe it or not. Recon is one of those uh, slightly clunky things that I can see why a lot of people just go, okay, no, no, let's, let's, let's not look for the chart. Let's not do this thing where you do this and this. Right. But, 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 but recon in it, in and of itself, when you're, when you're just rolling, you know, to see who gets initiative is, is a cool thing, I think, you know. Yes. But it's only the very first turn. Yeah. That's so a, that's a, it, do, it doesn't really affect the game too much. No, no. You get the alpha see, strike, that's what it is. Right. But it also sees who goes first, and then... Uh, if know. it was every turn, I think that'd be a lot more powerful ability. But, yeah. It's pretty much strategists for one, right at the beginning of the game, and then it's useless. Right. Well, it's well, it's it's, it's a rule for re-rolling one dice. But, you know, if you hit an eight... And then you get on a train, it might work. But, uh, you know. Yeah. And if you were building a list that required, like, to, you need to win that recon by a, a, a significant margin, then, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. So, for my troops, I have six troops. I can I guess uh, what they are? Since you already told us? Yes. <laughs> Marines. Urbana Blackwing Marines. Wow, really? Six of them. 
Nice. 11 points. That's uh, six VPs uh, in total and 66 points of troops right there. They're the most average of troops. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. See, I, that, Fives across the board. No armor. But the only good thing is the weight of fire on there and the wa- yeah, rapid that's, fire on their weapon. That's, that, that's huge. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It's good. For a list that I want to yeah, have. Yeah, for your list. It's, yeah, it's perfect. Yep. Could, um, well, I guess we'll talk about it later, but you could have taken the security guard who mm. doesn't get the uh, weight of fire and he is worst fighter for eight points. Yeah. Yeah. The but, weight of fire is the is the, the, the defining factor, I think. I think everyone could agree that the I don't know if everyone would agree with me and say that for that many point difference, weight of fire is worth it. You would yeah, have gained would, like two extra troops if you had taken them instead. I think that's how it works out. So. Yeah, but you're getting you're getting weight of fire and uh um an extra an extra you know, instead of a six, a five for a fight. But then again, you're not going to run these guys across the board. And th- these guys are not, you know, your your fighting specialist. You know, they're you're, you're taking them to shoot people. Right, right. And weight of fire is one of those things that you usually get a specialist and put an HMG on them for, mm-hmm. anyways. So, like right. in in my mind, making my troops all uh, those dirty bastards who you know, control. Squares of people. Yeah, I, I, I again, I, I, uh, I think the points are worth it. But we can yeah. we can have that debate when no one takes maze on security guards later in the hate section. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being sassy. Mm. I just put a little salt on this podcast. Salty, uh, salty. For my specialists, I have. Um, three Urbana Black Wing Rangers. What? And, uh, again, for basically the same reason, if you look at, um, if you look at the specialist, they're, they're the same as the, um, well, they're, ju- they're just the Rangers, not the specialist. I just said specialist, but I don't mean that it is in, it's the specialist. They are I mean, a specialist, but not the specialist. <laughs> yes. Which, it makes sense if you have the book in front of you. Everyone else is going, stop, stop just saying words, people. <laughs> um, it's basically the same troop as the ones we just discussed. Five is across the board. Um, the only difference, it's got the uh, weight of fire. The difference being one armor and scout. Yeah, so you're paying five points for one armor and scout. That's probably worth it. Yeah. yeah that's scout especially. It. And the armor, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so arm, just, yeah, armor and scout. It's it's that's the only difference. Yeah. Yeah. And that just means I can maybe uh, get some positioning done early. Scout generally, a lot of times, I find just puts you up front to get shot faster. It's, I, it, it <laughs> doesn't. It, it, I wouldn't make a list that was scout heavy. But having a few that you can kind of put in some places, that's not bad. Yeah, you get in position for your big shoots. Right, right. Or, you know, maybe just apply a little pressure so you can't just leave some people out when you're doing your deployment. Something. Um, after that, I have an aberration specimen. What? Just one? That's, that's my uh, Yes. That is my bullet magnet. You have to deal with this. Um, I, I think you'd be hard pressed to describe a scenario in which you have to, where you don't have to deal with him. So and he's, he's got uh, size four, one armor, rampage, tough. He does have beast. It's not the book, um, but he has beast. Um, but fights on threes, saves on fours. That's it. Good tough. He, any he, like, he's a machine. Mm. So if you want to, you know, 
start trading shot for shot with my guys who aren't the best sh- shooters in the game. They're no pathfinders by any stretch of the imagination. But if you think you're going to do that and let this guy just start walking across the board, uh, I, 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 I've yet to meet the player who has underestimated that beast. And yeah, so you're, you're really using him as a bullet magnet so all your guys can just pepper people and they're all worried about the aberration. And if they worry about your guys, the aberration just walks up and destroys them anyways. Hopefully. Aberrations are beautiful. They are. And you know what? If we're, if we are going to uh, take a moment to appreciate the aesthetics, I'm going to say if it's not the, uh, 1A, the best model still in the game, I think the aberration, you know, just aesthetically, boy, oh, yeah. boy, they're swell. Yeah, but you're pretty, uh, pro boobos. So. I am pro boobos. Yes. Uh, not necessarily of the groin, also of the armpit. <laughs> Anywhere, yeah. He's got him on his fist, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got him everywhere. Well, that's not even. Um, and then last but not least, I took subject uh, nine hundred one. Yeah, nine hundred two hundred one. Yes, I took Brian Austin Green. Why would you take him? Why? Um, let's let's go through the list. He fights on fours, saves on fours. Pretty nice. One armor, size two. He's got uh, tactician one. In case your leader bites it. I my leader again does not usually live doesn't live up to my usual. So this guy's taking up a little bit of that slack. Um, Frenzy two. He's uh, he's kind of a beast for twenty four points. He does have rampage, but rampage is eh. Mm. Most times it doesn't affect you. Yeah. Right, right. And the model, uh, I, you still see him on the board, but you can move him up. And I think people would be surprised just how much damage someone who fights on fours AP with frenzy two. two can do. AP two yeah. claws too. And AP two, like he can, he can be tearing into some forge fathers, some, some, uh, enforcers. So yeah, I, I, I do love him. Um, so, uh, that would be uh, 21 VPs and 200 points on the nose, which this this list is basically what I took to Depticon, except for I didn't take the Aberration or the um, Subject 901, obviously, uh, because I was the ringer. So I brought in some specialists with flamethrowers because, you know, I, I'm not I'm there to be slightly competitive, but not, you know, like I'm not there to to school anyone. Right. But, uh, but yeah, and I really enjoyed playing with all those shooty guys and, um, with Graves playing off that. It was, it was an enjoyable game. So yeah, that was my list. How's it going guys? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what are you doing? How's it going? Georgie. Wait a second. I'm confused now. Yes, Why? me too. I, I, I'm pretty sure I heard you skinned a dog and wore him as your, as your coat. What? Oh, I, I, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, Boomer, Boomer was going through <laughs> your stuff. <laughs> Boomer you, was you, going through all your belongings, all your personal, your dossiers, your files, all of your... Uh, what? Yes, and uh, somehow... Did you scroll with my taxes? Somehow he thought that what he was reading meant that you were coming up to Your Canada slash flick fic he thought was real. I think that's what we figured out. To what? kill me. To k- Jack. 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 I didn't believe it for a second. Jack, I don't know what to... You, you're telling me this is upsetting. I, I know, Georgie, I know. How, how could that be... How could that be possible? But... As upsetting as it is, it is a good last episode story arc conclusion. So I think that that has that going for it. No, I don't. I don't know if this is over, Jack. This is this is ridiculous. You're um, gonna tell me? You're gonna tell me that 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 Boomer is really doing this? Maybe maybe it wasn't your diary. Maybe it was Chief Mumalunka's diary. Maybe he's coming to kill you, Jack. Uh, no. Well, I don't know about that. All right, he, <laughs> Chief Mumalunka, he's a good friend of mine. All right, and he, I, I think he know. tends just to s- sit around like the the dude and smoke a little. And <laughs> I, well, you know what it is? I I really haven't seen these guys a lot because 
You know, when they said um, we were on lockdown, I told these guys it was lock out. So I haven't seen them a while. They've been <laughs> they've been out. So. But now they released the rules a bit. And uh, you had they, to let them back in. We're in phase three out here, so we're good. So they unfortunately you deal. Well, the goblin came back the very next day. You know that whole deal. <laughs> so, I, I can't. I can't believe it, Jack. Maybe it's just a Pepe Sylvia that, situation. But that doesn't even make sense. I, I've been asleep for the past three months. <laughs> what? I, I don't know if you guys know, but I, I was actually in a uh, in a goblin healing coma. Oh. I I I I got a splinter, and I actually died from it. Jack, and you I, didn't I, send I, him I, any flowers. I what? You know how like Superman died, and he went into a Kryptonian healing coma. Well, I went into a goblin one. <laughs> I got a I got a I got a splinter. And it, it didn't work out good, so uh, I'm back. It wasn't the Goblona virus? No, 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 no. That's what we thought. But... Go- Goblona virus? That sounds stupid. I'm pretty sure Boomer told us that, too. Boomer? The Boomer. Oh, no. What's going on? <laughs> Go back to sleep. <laughs> so, 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 hey, 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 no, I don't appreciate that. That's okay. Well, I, that is very that is a that is very mean. <laughs> I think uh, uh, ending with a cliffhanger uh, being Boomer's machinations <laughs> also a good call. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to find Boomer, and I'm gonna sort this out. You should tell him hi for me. Miss you. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that, Rob. <laughs> All right. I love you, Jackie. Excelsior. Oh, that was a weird Excelsior. I, I think he he put a lot of effort into flourish. Yeah. Physical. Yeah. But he didn't. Let me try it again. Yeah, okay. Excelsior. That's better. Yeah. There you go. That was more of it. <laughs> he he stuck pure- the landing. And, and the pirouette. He's out of practice. He has been bedridden for a couple months. Yep. His little emaciated legs withered and, and weakened. Well, he was already like that. Oh. Yeah, he was. So. Uh, where were we? I forget. We're done. You had just finished my list, so... Uh, uh, I guess we can go to commercial now. Okay. Hey, uh, this is Georgie, and uh, I just want to say, go listen to the Superhero Crew podcast. Is the uh, Superior Podcast. All right, all you out there in TV land and ships at sea, we are back here with the multi-platinum award winning, stupendously awesome, the uh, Ed Asner Award for Journalism in Podcasting. We have uh, just finished Jack's list, and we're interrupted by very unfunny, uh, dare I say, French goblins and right now we're going to move on to something extremely exciting which would be rob's list so let's see rob what's going on uh yeah i made a list uh mine's very different from jack's i think it's completely different i don't think we have any crossover what uh nope not a single crossover okay my leader is well since there's only two leaders you can kind of guess i guess <laughs> Mm-hmm. I took uh, the doc, Dr. Lucas Queener. He's Doc Ock, Tac 2, Frenzy 1, which is weird. Medic, the only time Medic's worthwhile. He's got yeah. crazy injectors. He's got stun, range F stun, range 1 stun, and a laser cutter, which as it burns, range 2, AP 1. He recon yeah. 6 plus, which is terrible. He's Tac 2 at least. Saves on 4s, mm-hmm. which is nice. No armor. Uh, 5 and 5. With a four save. Uh, fast acting serum. Serum. Serum? Serum. Uh, coach, please tell us what fast, fast acting serum does. So, basically, uh, you know, you can arm a special result and you can replace a model from your strike team that has just been killed with the uh, plague victim model. So, this model is placed pinned. So basically, you kill the guy, and then he comes back as a plague victim, which is uh, awesome. Okay, this model is placed pinned. It, it makes sense that it's pinned because he's got to kind of 
He's dead, but he rises from the dead. Uh, this model is placed, pinned, and activated in the same cube as the killed model and can, o- can activate as normal for the next round. In all ways, this new model acts as a member of your strike team. DPs are scored for killing both the original model and if the plague victim model is killed. The fact that the serum takes precedence over any other similar rule, such as the plague infection. So, so you, if, if uh, who is it, Simmons who does that? I think it's uh, Simmons who has that one. Yeah, what, plague infection? Yeah, so she tries to ri- rise your guy, be like, nope, he's, he's mine first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once he dies again, then... <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it is a weaker version than Plague Infection, because Plague Infection, you can do anybody. Right. But uh, it's still pretty fun, because Plague Victims are better than zombies. Yo, what's up? Whoa. Oh, Jesus. What happened? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you can handle this, Jack. <laughs> What's up? How's it going, guys? Oh, Georgie, it's nice to uh nice to see you again. What 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 do you what do you what do you mean again? Um weren't you just here telling us about your withered uh, useless limbs after being in a coma? Maybe you did Excelsior twice cuz we didn't like the first time. What? What what, do you, what the what, what the Oh no. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, oh, sh- you, you, you guys gotta stop cursing. They found me. I gotta go. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> guys, guys, I found, fe- there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a ripoff Walmart dollar store clone of myself that is being mean to Jack and I do not appreciate it and he has been harassing uh, me is it- while I was in my goblin healing coma. This is-, is ridiculous. So this is the original I'm now. I'll kill you, Jack. <laughs> This is the originals. Oh, I'm so confused. He wanted to kill you, Jack. <laughs> I liked it better when they had accents. <laughs> I can't tell who's who anymore. This is the original Georgie because I could see his C-section scar, and he didn't swear. Yeah, Georgie doesn't swear. I would never. Yeah, that, that other one. He, he, I really hate him. This, this is ridiculous. Would that be fake Georgie? So we call him Forgy. Forgy. He really annoys me because I have to edit this now. <laughs> oh my god! We have added a new goblin to the to the TB the TB mythos. Is it like he, Faker? He, it's 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 Forgy. It's Forgy. <laughs> the Lord to uh, our Night Rider. The uh, Lord we, to our Data. No, it's me, me, me and me <laughs> yeah, and Chief it. Bubblewonka are gonna go kill him. Well, yeah, uh, but... I might just stand back and, and, and let Boomer do everything because I'm not, and I don't know if I can really get all that blood. You know what? If you, if you throw him on the floor and you guys do like a slow walk up with the ghetto boys in the background, that might be pretty good too. But, yeah. But wouldn't Boomer and him be friends? If, cause Boomer hates you. No, 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 no. When Boomer agrees that this wow. is ridiculous. This is the first time you've ever agreed on anything, isn't it? It's really the first time. I would think so, yeah. Back first time. We agree on something. Well, good I hunting, think, boys. I might hate, <laughs> I might hate Georgie. Hey! But listen. <laughs> impersonating someone else is uncalled for. Yeah, there he goes, there he goes. Go get him, go get him. Go, go, go. He's right there, he's right there. Go, 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 Let's go, 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 I'm so confused. It's... Hey, hey, guys, what what I meant? Oh. Hey, what's up, Chief? The Chief. <laughs> Chief is here. Wait, did did did, did Georgie and, and Boomer and 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 the the the, the evil Georgie? Four G. His name's Four G. Hey, Chief. We're, Chief. We're calling him Four G now. Chief. Remember when we locked him out of the house? Yeah. Remember we call that the Excelsior plan? Yeah. Let's get the let's get it work. Let's get that working. Go. All right, I got you. All right, get out. So you're uh, executing uh, Order sixty six on the goblins right now? Yeah. It's it's uh, the Excelsior, the Excelsior. That's true because uh, Mumluck is an orc. He's not a goblin. Correct. Although I guess neither is Boomer. Boomer's a hobgoblin. Uh, he says that. Yeah, that's what he says. Listen, guys, I just, I just, this is this is real Georgie, by the way. I just want to say that. <laughs> How I, do we know it's real Georgie? It has it has truly been an honor. These these past uh, seasons of team building exercise have been a blast, and. Uh, are you dying? I think it's I think it's time for me to retire. 
from team oh. building exercise. Is 4G replacing you? Um, no, uh, Boomer's going to kill him before that lady lets <laughs> that happen. Excellent. I, I knew Boomer was my friend. <laughs> Jack, what do you think about this? I think M. Night Shyamalan wrote the script for this episode. <laughs> I think it's time for me to retire, Jack. It's, well, it's, that's it's a been an sad honor. And uh, we've appreciated your uh, your time and energy. Um, well, and some, of, some of us did. S- some people did. And uh, you know what? The least you can do is just hold out, host the gala one last time, and, and go out on a high note. I'm going to try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. And, and Rob? Yes? Even though I hate you with the burning passion, <laughs> <laughs> I will always remember the good times we've had on this show. Wait, you what, did? What good times did you have with no, Rob? I'm trying to have a moment. Okay. <laughs> uh, as Georgie, is this the last time I ever talked to you? Uh, yeah, we had good times. Go, go off into that sunset, my friend. And, uh, Coach, um, I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not getting rid of him out of your house, just off the podcast. Oh. Yeah, that's it. All right. And everybody, have a, have a, have a, have a, have a, have a, uh, a good, good day. All right. Get out of here, Porky and Pig. And I'll give you one last, one, one final. Excelsior! I just <clears throat> I'm getting a little choked up. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss the little guy. I don't believe it for a second, Jack. I'm sorry. I don't. Well, that's because you come from the the hard, cruel big city, and yep. I'm just a small town boy <laughs> who uh, lets his heart wears his heart on his sleeve, and uh, that's what makes us different. Yeah, I. I I don't believe it for a second. Mm -hmm. Uh, We're not that lucky. Anyway, back to my list. Uh, (laughs) I I talked about Lucas Coiner, yeah, and uh, his ability. It's all about uh, bringing people back from the dead. So uh, I took some some casualties, let's just call them. Okay. I took two Maison Lab techs. What? Only because just the way the points worked out. So they're they're gonna run up and get killed pretty quick because you're trading six points for eleven once you make a uh, a uh, plague victim out of them. So so try to get those guys. And I also have so uh, how many? I got one, two, three, four Maison security guards. Okay. Just make sure you got a splat before you run them up there. <laughs> yes. Uh, I like that Jack took the uh, er, Marines, but I the security guards you're losing. Just wait a fire, and yeah. for eight points, that's a no. They're they're great. Yeah, I, I I well once again, I'm not sure. I don't care that much if they die because once again, I'll be hopefully making lots of plague victims. I'm hoping to roll a lot of uh, splats, again, right. at least that's to have them the, at the right time. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the the big difference where y- your guys are fodder. Yeah, you're going to be greasing the wheels of. Uh, Plague them with with victims. My guys were, you know, bought with the, the hopes of keeping them around. And these uh, uh these were a lot of them were troop tax because I have I have quite a few specialists, so I needed to get cheap ones just to get uh, the troop tax in because uh, specialists get a little expensive. So to get oh, yeah. two hundred points, it was uh it was going to be a little tight. So uh yeah, so I think I have six troops there, but I was only most uh, I think I took lab techs cuz I had some le- leftover te- uh points and I was like, "Eh, might as well throw them in." <laughs> uh but for my first specialist, I took uh, I listened to coach as always. If you like something, take four of them. So right. I took uh four uh, Krastavors. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So they move on 2 3 Agile beast, uh, one armor, size three, so they're they're almost as good as a uh, not really almost as good as aberration, but a lot cheaper than aberration. Only twenty six points, but uh, they do have proboscis, which is a uh, range F AP one toxic one, which is quite nice. Yeah. And Would it be, wouldn't that be a proboscis? Yes. What did I say? I don't know. I'm just asking. It is a proboscis. <laughs> uh, you said proboscis. Did I? It's a yeah. proboscis, and. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so they're going to be running up and smashing things. And I can afford four of them for really the, for the price of two aberrations. So that was uh, really the reason to do it. And they're size three. And like, they're size they're, three, they're, yeah. They're not glass cannons, but if, when they – if toxic. That's, that's, that's the big – that's the headliner right there. Yeah, toxic. Toxic, toxic one, yeah. It's changed uh, from before. Toxic used to be before way too powerful. Mm. Now it's just uh, a little less powerful. <laughs> but, you know, that's good, though. It's toxic one. So you basically you get one extra wound, you know. Yeah. I mean, he, he could kill a guy outright, you know, but if he gets the one wound on him, it's good. I, I you know – People were complaining about that, that we changed it for that. I, I think that the new, well, cause Toxic was so. Yeah, you don't want to run up an aberration and be able to kill him one hit. That's, yeah, that's, that's not that's, the point of things. It's, yeah. And it's not going to happen. But, you know, if you can get two hits on him. Yeah, it's nice. All right. All right you know, you know, I mean, it, it's crazy, but it happens. And I do like his two, three speed and he fights on fours, which is quite nice too. So right. he's going to be, he's going to be agile and he's got agile. Agile, once again, not as good as before, but still pretty good, especially with these guys. Imagine them scuttling everywhere. Yeah, this is good. I do like Kra- Kra- Krastavor. Krastavor. Oh, I don't like the model at all. No? You don't like him? Nope. Uh, you know what I like better than this? Uh, the Mars Attacks, the the big ants, those guys. The bugs, I like yeah. Those better. The bugs, yeah. We got about 30 of them. So, yeah, oh, I get... love the Krastavor model. I, yeah. Uh, I, that was... I think I, I begged Rob to, to paint that. I, I, I yeah, need we have two of them, it. I think, yeah. Really? Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. We need, I'm not, we need a couple more. <laughs> you know what though? I'll tell you, it's, it's just one of those models, like, it's not a bad looking model, it just, for some reason I don't like it. I he, don't know why. He's also quite big, like for a size three, he's actually, he barely he's fits really, in a cube. <laughs> yeah, he's really a size four. Yeah. Well, he's a giant, right? Yeah, he's, he's a not, giant from Dreadball, Ball. yeah. So it's a nice addition to this list because it's kind of a surprise. You're not expecting a, a, those guys in the Maison Labs. And yeah. the last guy from the Maison Labs you wouldn't be expecting from my list. Same same cost as the Crastivore, actually. It's both 26 points. So I could have taken another Crastivore, really. But I went with the Organic Data Storage Unit. ODSU, baby. Yeah. Yeah. He's a uh, 556, three size... Psychic Frenzy 1, Energy Shield 2, though. So that's quite nice. He's got all his yeah. uh, his Blast, his Stun, his Invigorate, his Knockback. And uh, even Coach likes this model better than the OG. I, I will say that I do like that model. It's the Energy Shield 2, I think, is the reason I chose him instead of another Crastivor. Because he's, once again, a bullet magnet. You're going to shoot at him, and that Energy Shield hopefully will save him for a little bit. Yeah. And that's 200 points right on dot, 24 VPs, and hopefully all those uh, troops are going to be replaced with uh, Plague Victims. I uh, will say Plague Victim has Beast Frenzy 1 Rampage, and he moves 2-3, which is nice. And he fights on 4s, which is also very nice. Yeah. So he'll be, they'll be, you'll kill him once and they'll come back even badder than before. Badass. You, you didn't take any Plague Victims, I don't know why you're talking about them. Because... They will be coming. Oh yes, all these these poor lab techs and security guards—they're <laughs> just plague victims in in uh, potential in, in, in waiting. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of, lot of lot of chaffed. They're just waiting to oh, reach yeah. their. Uh, they're going to join Scientology and and become the the great thing they're meant to be. I almost took all lab techs, but then I was like, uh. It's, uh, that's a little too that, much. Cause they're useless. Yeah. Lab techs are totally <laughs> useless. <laughs> that, that's like one of those things where you get hammered and you're like, I'm gonna take all lab techs in this game. <laughs> and then when you sober up, you're like, yeah, that was a terrible idea. Well, especially since if you don't roll splats, you have all lab techs. At least the security guards can hold their <laughs> own a bit. Lab techs are useless. Yeah. They're fighting 656 six with a shock baton, which is knockback. You know, it's one of those things where you take six lab techs, they all get killed, and then the next round you roll four splats. Yeah, and when you have nobody yeah. left, yeah. Yeah, nobody's left. You know? Yeah, that's, that's the only thing. You gotta make sure you keep those splats and use the people when you know they take the risk for them to die when you have the splat to bring them back. Yeah. Otherwise, it is, uh, there is some strategy there, cause you can't just hope that, uh, you're gonna have it at the right time. You have to really plan for it. Most likely, people are going to ignore them at lab techs, so they're going to run into yeah. a fight and get themselves killed. So, right. 
because nobody's yeah. going to purposely target a lab tech. I, I could just see the uh, the Marines and the lab techs in, in the same game, and they're like, let's go, move, move, move. We can't. There's no splats. <laughs> so they, they're hiding you know, for a purpose. Also, people are going to ignore the lab techs. They probably can take some, uh, you know, sit on some objectives. Nobody's going to bother with them because they're like, there's lab techs. So. Or if you're playing Breakthrough or something, they just keep walking forward, sneak them off the other side. <laughs> I, I, I hate Breakthrough. Yeah, it's not the best. Not so, the Coach, story. please tell us what did you do? Which one Which one did you go for? Not very much choice in the leaders here. Oh, well, I, I chose a completely different leader. I didn't choose uh, um, either one of those leaders. I chose Dr. Lewis Coyer. <laughs> because... Because uh, you only have two. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? Originally, I was going to go with Graves, but, uh, you know what? For four points more, it's not that, it's not terrible, you know? And then you're like, all right, well, you know what? I want to try to win the recon, so let me take Graves. It's like, not a big difference. (laughs) Yeah, and he's a six, yeah, so. But, uh, you know, I guess because these aren't military guys, they're scientists. I thought they'd be smarter, but I guess not. So, yeah, I went with him. They're not men of action. No. Absolutely not. So, uh, moving on to my troops, I took, um, one, two, three, four, five, six Urbana Black Marines. Oh, you went the Marine Ooh. route. Yeah, I, I did that because of, uh, Way to Fire. That's it. That sounds yeah. familiar. Yep. Well, they listen. You know, if, if anything, you, you listen to, you listen to other people and you, they're good ideas. But then on top of that, I took two Mazan security guards. So for a total of eight troops, so I went six and two. I don't know if I said six before. Yes. Yes. So six and two, I went with that. And then I don't know what the hell you guys were thinking. <laughs> right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Because if you like some, take six of them. I love these plague victims. God almighty, I love the You just skipped the uh, part where you <laughs> have to uh, to change him over? You just to skip to the point you just paid for him? Oh, no, no. I, I mean, I love him so much that, like, you can bring more of him. So you can kill a plague victim, and he can come back as a plague victim. Yeah. Why not? You know? So, you know, that would be cool if he came back as a plague, like a super plague victim. Extra plaguey. You know? Extra plague with extra plague sauce on it, and they are like they for a, buying them or creating them, right? They are a good unit. Yeah. Oh yeah. So so this is like what every three A would grows up and wants to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's they move, right. <laughs> they move on a two three like the plague does, which you know the plague should move on a two three. No yes. armor, no armor. Uh, no weapons. Size. No weapons, but you know, it's, it's, you know, they are beasts, you know, and they just so happen to be a beast. But, you know, a fight on a four with a frenzy one really makes like a huge difference. Now, I know they have rampage, but you think about it, rampage on guys that like, all right, so rampage on an aberration hurts. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> okay. It, it, it really, it really is. Um, Rampage on, on other things, you know, things that like, like, you know, you'd have to go into the plague list, but like, you know, stage just for this one. Or... Yeah. Stage twos have rampage and stuff. You know, that really hurts. These guys have one wound on them and they get, you know, so it's like, they're going to die. I could either bring them back, but it's, it's not too terrible, but, um, you know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, on, on a four up fight with a frenzy one, you know, I mean, that's, uh, no AP, no AP, but, uh, you know, you're talking 11 points here. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it, 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 I love these guys. I love these guys so much. So that's why I took a whole mess of them. And then, uh, in the rear with the gear, another specialist, I did go with the ODSU. <laughs> I had a feeling you, know? you had 26 points left. I'm like, he went for the organic. <laughs> well, I was playing Tetris and that was the only, the only cube that fit. So, um, <laughs> I think the crowd Crestivore, I didn't take him because I don't like the model, but you know, hearing you guys wax poetic about them, it kind of changes my view on them. Uh, they are awesome, but let's talk about ODSU. 
like you said, you know, size three, which kind of sucks, but um, five, five, six across the board. My thing is psychic. I love psychic. Anything with psychic is all right by me. The fact that you don't need line of sight, which is the best thing about psychic. Um, you know, imagine uh, you're um, invigorating stuff or blasting stuff off an objective or blasting stuff off a, uh, a, a second level, you know, because you got a range four. So, you know, if you're, you're blasting somebody off an objective or, like I said, off second or third level where you may get some uh, falling damage, pin them, whatever, that, that's really a big deal, you know. And uh, they do have electrical uh, electrical discharge, which is range F knockback. You know, on a on a on a five fight, maybe, maybe, maybe it's to get somebody off them. If somebody jumps on them, try to knock Correct. them away. Yeah, and the only thing is, um, well, you know what? It, it might work because it's a range F knockback. They fight on a five with a frenzy one size three, so. You're, you're, you're gonna roll. Let's, let's say a guy enters the cube. You're gonna fight back. And if he had, you know. You're you'll probably have bigger. Bigger. And then frenzy one. And then if he has a wound on him, that's the only way you might have another, uh, thing. If you have a buddy in there, cause you can, you're only size three. So it might work. You know, maybe hang him back with a plague victim. And they, uh, you know, just as a bodyguard. And, uh, that might help, you know. Just, uh, Doing that, or even put a marine with him, just to babysit him. <laughs> but uh, you know, I mean, I got I got tons of guys. I could put either one of them back there, or even even a a, a security guard, just to maybe uh, do that. You know, take care of the uh, ODSU. But uh, I I do like psyche, man. I really do. I last few games I've been playing, I've been using a lot of it. And then uh, our last battle report, Andrew fell in love with it because he was just psychically uh, using it with him with the. Uh, the nameless. So it's, it's one of my favorite, uh, my new favorite, uh, things. And energy shield two doesn't hurt. You know, anytime you roll, I mean, he's a six up save with another two six ups. You have a chance, you know, you have a chance. Just the only thing is they have no armor. They're squishy, but hey, it is what it is. This is, these are guys that are not out in front, uh, uh, leading the charge. These are guys in the back. These are total support roles. You know, so, and that's my list. Jack, 200 points on the button with no extra. Very nice. Yeah. So it took me a whole season, but I got it. (laughs) You know. And uh, that's it. What do you think? I I think we came on strong about how we weren't weren't, uh, thrilled about doing these lists. And we came out with three very, very different lists. Yeah. I just have to say, Coach's list is so long that it won't fit on a single page. You have so many people in this list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you know what this is? If, if The way I look at this is a combination of – it's like it's like two lesser factions of GCPS and the Plague. So let's take a little bit of good stuff from both. So, you know, you take uh, – I took the Marines for sh- for good shooting and the plague victims for good fighting, you know, because there's no stage ones. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, no stage uh, stage two, which I love. And then you can get a little crazy with like you took the Crastivore or the ODSU, which is really like off the deep end. And then Jack took an aberration. So three different keys for the three different locks, unlocking different uh, aspects of the list. That's why, you know. Even though this is one of the smaller lists out there, I really do like I do like the Maison, but they are lacking in a lot of things, which we'll get to in the hate. But, um, you know, it, it's it's a good it, it's 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 a fun list to run. I don't know I don't know tournament wise, but you know what, beer and pretzels they're a lot of fun. Everybody who's played the Maison tells me how much they love to play them. You know, even though if you get like you get wiped out, you still like to play them. So that's my list, and I'm sticking to it. Good list. Good stuff, but we uh, we took a lot of similar stuff, but uh, we did it in different ways, which is interesting. Yeah. Well, there's not much to take, so, you know, but yeah. So we might have to, um, we might have to uh, kind of 
alter the hate a little bit to talk about stuff that other people took that we don't like <laughs> just oh, to make it oh. just around about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If, if we, if we can, since it's the last list, the last list of the season. Yeah. And, uh, and you know what? If we, we talk long enough, we could maybe get a seventh, uh, goblin interruption. Then. Yeah. Really bring that home. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't ask for things that might happen. <laughs> We'll be right back to find out. Yep. Hey, all right, enough already. Now on to the commercials. Oh, man, that was a good roll. Hey, Georgie, what are you watching? Oh, I'm just watching a video on Family of Gamers 777 on YouTube. What kind of videos are on their channel? They have hobby videos, live streams, Dead Zone and Warpath battle reports, and tons of other great stuff. Oh cool, I have to check them out. Remember, that's Family of Gamers 777 on YouTube, the hub for all things miniature wargaming. So Georgie, what's your favorite video on their channel? I love them all so much. To pick just one, what do I know? Oi, this is Boomer from the Elite Georgie list, and you're listening to Team Building Exercise. Love you, Rob. Well, my 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 whole thing was hoard the board this season. Uh, yeah, I was I was really thinking of uh, doing all security guards, mm-hmm. you know, instead of the Marines. But I'm like, eh. like yeah. even as a joke, I couldn't do it. That'd be so many, huh? Yeah. So well, maybe. Wait, what did I take six? Save it. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying I took six Marines for sixty-six points. How many security guards could I fit in there? Because I could have took eleven lab techs. <laughs> you know, you think about it. It's, it's it's a lot of guys. I would say Jack bring us back, but we're already back. It seems. Coach can't stop talking about his list. No, I'm, I'm talking about Dead Zone. <laughs> and welcome back <laughs> <laughs> to the multi award winning team building exercise in which we uh, are discussing Maison Labs and and we're going to do a little section we like to call the hate. So uh, Rob, what's what's the first item on our list of of things we disagreed with? Man, you got to really scroll down. Yeah, cuz we took there's only two leaders, so they're lacking the the depth of leadership like most other groups. Uh, they only have three troops, which we've taken. We took them all, which uh, it's not saying much. I, I think uh, normally Maison, Maison Lab, La, I can't even speak today. Maison Lab techs would not normally get taken, but I took them as fodder. But uh, they're they're useless. But yeah, they're good for fodder. Yeah, uh, yeah we scroll down. We oh, have to, what's you know that? what? Six six points and one VP. They're terrible, but it's six points. Yeah, and you don't care if they die, and then you turn them into uh, plague victims. Yeah, we scroll yeah. down. We, go, we have to go all the way down to Urbana Blackwing Engineer. That's the first one. And I believe the engineer is actually the wrong price in the book. It's actually only 10 points, not 12 points. Right. He does have engineer and hacker. He only comes with a pistol. Same problem with all the engineers. You have to buy special equipment for him, so it gets expensive that way. But that's probably why they dropped him to 10 points. The, the only reason you take him is for the uh, the uh, tactical asset missions or where you need a hacker. Yeah, but you got better choices for hackers in this list, I think. Well, I'm just, I'm just. That's why you would take him. You wouldn't take him as an engineer. You take him as a hacker. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, unless, you, you know, all right. You, you, do you guys still play with, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 what's it called? The the boxes, the, items. The crit. Yeah, the items. You know what I mean? Not usually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I still do. I, I like, I like playing with them. I think it, you know, like. Th- the only thing about Dead Zone, is I love it moves fast and stuff, but when we play, we've been using the cards, we've been using a lot of terrain, losing, you, use, you set up your objectives, and then we set up the cubes. So it takes us a while to set up. That's that's most times why we don't bother. Yeah. It's yeah, just, no, I, I understand. Setup you, know what, you know what? I, I took a long time to paint them. I really liked the way they came <laughs> out, you know, the way I painted them, and God damn it, we're going to use them. Well, that's like you know? terminals now, right? you got to use all yeah. your terminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all the Star Saga terminals. But if you happen to uh, open a this, – this is the argument I had with, with someone. And, you know, 
I, I didn't get too heated, but it was it, here was my thing. Well, what's great about engineers is when you open a crate and it's a booby trap, they can disarm it. Okay, I'll take one engineer under protest, right? I don't think anyone here – would you take more than one engineer? I wouldn't if, take any engineers. <laughs> all right, but, but if you were, let's say, all right, you have, you're going to take an engineer. Would you take more than one? No, you can't afford to take more than one, I don't no. think. Right, Jack? No. Even you, Jack. Jack does wacky things sometimes. You wouldn't do that, right? I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to go. You're playing devil's advocate. I'm willing to, to. I'm, I'm going to play in the playground you're building. Okay. Say you went with all play uh, the victims that are beasts. You went with aberrations. You went, and no one would be able to use a terminal. Your, your, your lab techs are long since turned into the, <laughs> their better form, their final uh-huh. forms. Right. To purchase one engineer so that one guy could possibly pick stuff up to use the terminals to do. Now I can see it. I wouldn't go, what, what, what are you doing? Right. But that's a very specific list. And at that point, are, are you really worried about the points from a, from hacking a terminal? You're, and you know. could, you could pick a, a well, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's, let's not get there. Let's not get there yet. Here's the thing. What's the chance of you picking the item? The engineer picks the item with the booby trap. Yeah, but it's, it's, first of all, your engineer has to get to a box, and second of all, it has right. to be unlucky enough to be the. It, yeah, the chance of it happening is so slim. <laughs> yeah, so so that was my thing. I was like, listen, take two, take three. You you know, go with God. But the thing is, is that the chances of you, I mean, you've just increased your chances if you're taking five or six engineers, but. The chance of you uncovering a booby trap that your opponent might even uncover, and you just happen to have an engineer there, it doesn't. You yeah. Know. Now or, you know. Or do the eight boxes it, on the board, make right. what uh, can be two max if you're really unlucky. Yeah. So and also, I mean, you could do you know the trip mines and stuff like that, but I, I we I hardly ever play with them, if ever. I don't think yeah. I've ever played with the trip mines. You know. So. Oh yeah, because you really you want to take this because you're going to get. These guys have sentry guns, I assume. Yeah. That kind of stuff, but it costs eight points for a sentry gun. Oof. It's, it's, so you'd be 18 points for that guy. For I'd rather take a, a for 16 points, I'd rather take a ranger with a yep. way to fire ranger. one and scout and armor cool. one. Or you could take a ranger specialist with way to fire one and a hacker. Yeah. And he, armor one. He gives you the hacker, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's 60 points more, but yeah. Yeah, but but when you put a sentry gun on this guy, it becomes eighteen points. So right. if you're just taking a naked engineer, I don't. It's, for two points less, you can take a the troop. You can take the regular marine, or I mean the uh, security guard. Right. Or for one it, point more, you can take the marine, which is even better. So. But then again, if you take the ranger specialist with hacker, you could say Hicks run a bypass. It's true. Uh, yeah, we didn't. Nobody took that specialist. That's the other yeah. thing nobody took. But it's because Jack went for the ranger for the scout, and instead of the hacker, you could have taken him easy enough. Yeah, and like I said, at Adepticon, I put some flamers on them, and, and you know, it burns is all right. It's a little bit of flash. It doesn't. It's it. It it's not a. It's it's not a so so powerful. It's. A must take your other options. Like I think the 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 non specialist varieties are, are going to handle whatever you need. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're going to put the specialist. You think of putting on a sniper rifle or you know some missile launcher, you know something something special, and it's just you know. Or I mean, the, the only the only thing though with these guys, which we we discussed in the GCPS, is like if you would take the. Uh, the Accutech, you know, it's the it's eight points one VP, but it comes with the hollow sight. You know, that's that's always a good thing to have on them. But then again, then you're giving up way to fire. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, they're pretty good already. I don't even know switching yeah. weapons out on those guys. Maybe throw a hollow sight on these. guys. Yeah. Can you know? you, can they have hollow sights in their lists? Um, in the uh, in the items. No, um, they do put, not. They do they not don't. have hollow sights. No. Well then, there you go. Yeah, there's trip mines, thermal mines, scope, monowheel scope bike. Yep. 
Uh, no hollow sights, yeah, so you, you couldn't get it that way. The only way to get a hollow sight is to get the uh, marksman rifle. Uh, this next question is, uh, we got two different types of medics, plus your leaders are medic in this list. They really like to save their people. So we got the Corporation Medibot and the Urbana Blackwing Medic. One's 18 points, one's 12 points. The Medibot comes with a def- defender shield, which is nice. Uh, other than that, pretty similar. Other than the the medic at least can shoot people. Yeah. The uh, so it's you're, you're giving up shooting for defender shield for 18 points though. If you, if I was going to take any medic, I would take Coiner. But if I was forced to take either of these two, I'd rather have the regular medic. I think Medibots. Eh, not a fan. They're both size one. So if we hearken back to when uh, uh, Coach is talking about who he would tuck in with his uh, his Chobar, um, throw the Medibot with him. A yeah. Medibot, so his Chovar it has also a, then has energy shield energy and defender shield, shield. <laughs> defender shield, and someone who could heal him. Yeah. Uh, again, if you were trying to make a list where the Chovar was your like the the data storage unit was your it was the pivotal. I could see it, but other than that, who wants to keep your guys alive when you got Coiner? Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're trying to kill them so you can get your more uh, plague victims. Stupid robot, stop <laughs> saving <their> lives. <laughs> yeah, a, what are you doing? That's that's a med tech. Stop it. <laughs> or the ODSU comes back as a plague victim. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's once again dead zone so fast. Medics I find aren't that useful. We've said it many times. It's a fast game. You don't have time. I, don't, I ain't got time to heal. <laughs> no. No, yeah, it, there, there was a time when it was a back and forth cinematic, still a fast game, but there was like this give and take, and there was now it's just two two forces blast against each other, and it's it's smoke and ash and destruction. <laughs> it, it, the medics just don't have the. By the time they walk not, over to the victim, it's a they're getting shot at, and b the game's over. So, well, you know yeah. what? Remember if you if you remember back. Um, a, a uh, I don't know, before Escalation came out, or maybe, I'm sorry, before Outbreak came out, and... Um, Pepperidge Farms remembers. Yes. If you remember, uh, the bitching and moaning about how good medics were, and, and then people were saying how bad they were, and all this stuff. So then, as a rules committee, we went back and we said, you know what, let's make medics better. And they got better from what they were, you, you know. We can all agree on that, that they were a lot, they're a lot better now than what they were, and still nobody takes them. Yeah. So pissing and moaning doesn't really mean anything. You, you know what I mean? It, it just doesn't. I, I would, uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a medic actually be useful in a game. <laughs> Maybe just haven't had enough people play them. Maybe if oh. you're really good at playing with a medic, you could, like you say, you stick them with somebody and it's really annoying to kill that thing, but. Right. I will, I will say that, um, I, 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 which one it, it just, it goes over my head, but, uh, Fabian, we did a battle report and Fabian took the, uh, enforcer medic and he didn't heal anybody, but that guy was picking off people left and right. So <laughs> he was a secret he assassin. Really, yeah. You know, he was like a medic, but you know, when, when the, when the, when the, you know, chips were down, he picked up the rifle and took care of business. So, you know, that's the only time I saw a medic do anything and he didn't heal anybody. He was basically kill, a killing machine. So, you know. But uh, yeah, like I said, you know, Koyuk has Medic. Yeah. And the only re- the only way I use Medic is on myself. Yeah, yeah. You know. I, we sh- should mention, I forgot to mention that in the uh, FAQ, the specialists, the Urban Blackwing Ranger specialists, are only 13 points. So even more reason to take. They're only three points more than the uh, yes. Engineer. Right. Uh, then the only other thing we didn't take was the Strider. Striders are beautiful, but when you got an aberration in the list, why bother taking a Strider? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 30 points before you even uh, start giving them the bells and whistles. Mm-hmm. I, I, Free I, armor, though. Yeah, you'd have to be a pretty good salesman to tell me that, that this is the way you want to go. They can't have, the, they can have the yeah. shield, too. So it'd be 38 points with the shield, so they'd be four armor. That's pretty good. Yeah. And just give them but, that. Uh, well... Yeah, you would give him the, the, the aggressor shield. Or don't even give him anything. Just let him run up and punch people at that point. And yeah. You're not killing him. <laughs> so for 38 points, you could make a, a, uh, a tank, like a, instead of the aberration as a tank, 
you could have this guy, same size, but armor four. That's pretty crazy. And just have him right. go punch people. He only fights on fives instead of threes, but he's two points cheaper. And I think, what, two points or one point less VPs? What's an aberration? Yeah, four That's VPs. 40, 40 and four, but... Yeah. Uh, so it's got to be 38 yeah, you, and three. 38 and four, because you take the shield. You take the uh, shield. shield gives you one? Gives you plus one. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. So, but then, you know, he can go up and just smash people on the head with the shield. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. He does have the construct and solid, which, you know, he he would be able to take some punishment. You could give yeah, him a flamer, too, just, for only six more you were points. If looking for a bullet magnet, then, yeah. A shield and a flamer, so he's 44, I mean, sorry, he's uh, 30, 34 points, four VPs. I don't think the flamer gives you any, does it? No. No. And it gives you, so he had AP1 and it burns with a flamer. So as he's running up to punch you with his shield, he just burns you first. Yeah. That's pretty good. And he's solid too, so. Yeah. You you can even take, uh, you know, it's funny, you could take the chainsaw, which gives you frenzy one. Mm -hmm. But then uh, for four more points, you might as well take the spear. Yeah, and at that point, you're way more expensive than an aberration, so. Right, right. It's uh, it's on the edge. Yeah, I, I can see him as a tank. Like, talk about bullet magnet, Jack. That's four armor. You're gonna hell of a time. Even a rocket launcher just makes it even. I mean, a missile launcher makes it even fight. Like that's AP four, right? Yes. Polaris cannons AP four. So yeah, you're only making it even at that point. You're not even overkilling them. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. To see see if anybody could really because not me. Not a lot of people take AP because it's just that one of the things where it's like well. I'll have to deal with it. So this guy'd be almost unkillable with AP four. It'd be tough. You'd have to get some eight trains going. Well, you know, eight trains are easy to come by, so it should be easy enough. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. That's the whole list. Uh, not much selection in the Maison Labs. I think that's one of the main drawbacks of these guys. I don't think it's missing anything, though. If we're being honest, I there's nothing that any other faction has that I'm like, oh, this, you can't really do it here. It's got like a little bit of everything. Well, yeah, it's yeah. just it's just boring with these. It's just all Marines. It's like GCPS, I guess. It's Marines all day and night, and it's just like, okay. And the only good things yeah. are the specialty things, like the Aberration or the Crav- Chris- Christovor or the ODSU. Like, they're the fun things. I don't know. Uh, yeah. The Christovor? He, uh, he's saying Lady in Red, I think. Yes. Oh, never Chris- mind. Good, <laughs> Oof. good, good uh, Oof. reference to the '80s, there, Jack. Oof. Uh yeah. Anything else uh, missing? You think? I, I I think it's just um, like I said, it's a little bit of it's a uh, a little bit of uh, GCPS with a little bit of plague, but it needs something. They need, you know what they, you know what it is. They they need a few more models because yeah, that's right. When, when when you look back. The only thing that changed was the Strider, but everybody else got the Strider, which I I don't know. I I still disagree with that. Everybody has the same freaking Strider. You know, there's no... uh, Except for the Marauders. No, no. What I'm saying is is everybody who has a Strider... Gets the same weapon choices. Yeah, I I don't don't think that's a... Used to be, yeah. It used to be the Reb Strider was different from the... the Correct. Enforcer Strider. And and that's the way it should be. Even uh, different stats. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the Rev Strider should be worse because it's like a second hand thing that they kind Probably, of stitch, you know? Yeah, beat up and didn't have all the good weapons on it. And... Right. And, it, and the and they have they have three um troops, which is which is about average as everybody, but the two leaders Yeah, I think another leader and maybe maybe some more experiments, just some crazy Yeah. Not maybe you know, something cheap, like some dog drones or like not dog drones, like like uh Hellhounds or something, something that's well, or or something like really like like different, like maybe a Terraton or some uh, captured Zors. Or, yeah, or yeah, something like that, or something. You know, Ooh, I yeah. mean, you know, you, you're bringing in the Crastivore, so we might as well bring in like say, I don't know, severe severe plague victims, like like a like a Kish, or yeah. uh, even some nameless or something that they captured and messed right. with. Nameless with like cybernetic enhancements that are c- controlling them. Yeah. So like, like, 
like if you take, uh, um, you know, instead of the ink things, they, they're toxic ink things or, yeah. or, um, what the hell is it? The, uh, those other guys, the Gribbly guys, the, um, the crawlers, the stalkers, I mean, mm-hmm. they, they could be, they could be sto- uh, stalkers, but with like metal arm, metal legs, like cybernetic legs. Yeah. Or something. yeah. That's like writing. That's, uh, that's, uh, I, I know Rob doesn't like that, but it kind of is in his wheelhouse, you know, like, all right. I, I, you like, you like the beasties more of, uh, you like the riflemen more than the little beasties, but throw some cybernetics. No, on yeah, them. yeah, that's right. <laughs> in this list, I, I would like it a lot more, yeah, because there's, they're more like experiments, whereas in the nameless, I like them as an intelligent race, not as just some, some right. crustaceans who happen to come through the portals. I think what they, what they need is like, if you take, let's say you take, um, you take a, uh, uh, What's the ink guys from the nameless? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. Yeah. Inkers, inkers, yeah, inkers, yeah. That would that would do it. The uh, you take an inker, but you take take some of that genetic material and mix it with a plague victim or with just a regular mm-hmm. dude. What would happen? You know, like like uh, yeah. So his stats go down and maybe he gets slower, but he's yeah, give him toxic instead or something. Yeah, or he could like he could he could throw up some toxic or so, something, you know. But he's, like, undead, so he's, or, like, not fully as much as he was before, you know. Right. So he's, like, he's, he's almost like he's tough, but he's not tough, you know. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, there's with, with the, the maze on, you're really not held by it. Or maybe, maybe you take an orc. You, you mix an orc with a teraton and see what happens. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, some Frankenstein stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, some crazy stuff, or you know, or we could do like, um, remember that movie with Rosie Greer, the two-headed, the two-headed guy. You could like have uh, a goblin and a hobgoblin with two heads. Oh God, don't even think that. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of the mutants team for Dreadball. Hey, check you know those guys. Uh, the the mutants team, yes, but or no, the cyborg. You have the cyborg team. That's what you had. The cyborgs. Yeah, th- that would be if they were to make a faction and they just said okay. Any guy you have, you just put them on the board, and these are his stats because, you know, they are part of the 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 Borg, the collective, part of the collective. Yeah, we we take what is useful. That might be even a whole new faction. <laughs> it could be a whole new faction or sub faction, like the Vault Chasers, or yeah, you know, yeah, something like sub that. faction of Mason. Yeah, just some cyborgs. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah, just just something. I mean, like you know, trademark. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, like because because with this, you have um, almost every sci-fi movie where they've, uh, you know, like like uh, it, it wasn't a good movie, but like Alien Four, where they were trying to, uh, you know, like make the the ultimate Ripley, but she 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 got stuck with some of the alien DNA. She had the blood, and she could talk to them, and you know, like so, like a cross modulation of everything. That might that would be pretty cool. I gotta write this down. <laughs> yeah, if only we could, uh, you know, come up with some new ideas for. Yeah, the rules can be to here. Yeah, well, those guys don't listen anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but then again, you can't can't write rules with they ain't got no models. That's so. the beauty of them. You do have the models because you just buy you yeah. change the cyborg team. It was all just bits, right, Jack? The cyborgs? No, it came with specific cyborgs. Oh, didn't it? Uh, yeah, but they there was the mutants team that was all that was all bits. Yeah, but they they do have a rule. You can take any model f- from the dread, the dreadball range and put it on the team, and it just changed the stats. So like you could just go, oh, I, I got a Zor here now. I've got a Zor Gold Keeper, and it's just now a cyborg Zor Gold Keeper. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, there you go. So then, it, then you'd have to buy every faction in Dead Zone so that you could you could put a. Uh, it is not a uh, a Forge Father. It is a mutant Forge Father with cybernetics. Yeah, yeah. that's how you sell more uh, starter sets. Yeah, there you go. Uh, or most of us have tons of those guys laying around. So yeah, yeah. mod them up. Uh well, that's it. That's that's season four of that's- team building exercise. Yeah, can't believe it did four seasons. We 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 done we done did it. We did done did it. We did 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 it.
So now what are we going to do? We're going to take a break or we're going to have the gala or what's the, what's the, uh, what's on, what's on the, what's on the, uh, the Kanban board over here? We'll have to discuss it. We don't know. Who knows? It'll be a surprise for everyone. The shadow knows. <laughs> it's true. Now, know. now we're referencing the forties. <laughs> <laughs> it's going back in time. <laughs> we're, our comedy's regressing. My soon ragtime as, band. <laughs> yeah. Soon it's just going to be, uh, like, uh, us moving around at a, Odd pace, and then words coming up in white in the bottom. That's true. Your money or your life. I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, do go to Family Gamer Seven 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 on the YouTube's. Uh, what you do lately? What you What you been doing lately? Well, we put out a uh, Dead Zone Battle Report recently, but uh, what's that game? Never I, heard it. Yeah, I know. I wish wish more people would watch it because we put a lot of effort into those. And uh, so there you go. If you're not if you're listening to this and you haven't watched that, shame, shame. You should you should be ashamed of yourself. You really should. So go give them a thumbs up and comment, even if you haven't watched it. Yep. Yeah. Even if you click in, just and then walk away and then come back later and <laughs> you know. give them some views. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you got that going. Yep. Uh, new new uh, solo rules for Dread. Are you excited about that? Yeah, I, I saw that. that. That's pretty cool. But you know, I don't know. I, I really, I've never done solo games. I, I haven't been co op. Well, co op, man. You yeah. you and uh, Andrew both running some some uh, some judges. Yeah, that might work. Uh, yeah, Jack, what you been up to? <sighs> Nothing. Yeah, <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That's that's what we've been Rob, doing. What have you been up to? What have you been up to, Rob? I've been uh, maxing, relaxing. I had some uh, mandated time off, it seems. So yeah, still doing uh, mobile armor radio. Yeah. I think you got to uh, build a new wing in the house because every week you have forty-two new robots coming into your house. It's true. Three D printer uh, definitely added to a lot to it. Uh, yeah, we'll be back sometime. You'll hear from us again. This isn't goodbye. It's just so long. For now. For now. <laughs> For now. It's it's like an echo. Mm. An echo. I've been Rob. And I'm Jack. And I'm Coach. Well, bye-bye. Bye-bye. We don't know what we're going to do the next show. Just tune in and you'll find out. Well, that's another show down the train. What do you be-